Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to pick up a, a couple new dart frogs for my largest vivarium, the Costa Rica enclosure. Maybe the name gives you a little hint, I don't know. This time I went to another Swedish hobbyist and he calls himself Frog Farmer. And when you call yourself Frog Farmer you need to have a pretty large collection, but I promise he has one. He said he had the largest collection in um, in Scandinavia, or I think it was in the entire Northern Europe, in the amount of species, not the amount of frogs. He had like 82 tanks or something. It was quite a lot. So um, I'm just gonna give you a quick montage of how it was looking at his place, and then I'll get back to you and show you my new frogs. So I arrived back home, this was actually a month ago when I'm recording this and uploading this video, I just haven't had the time to get the video out. However, he gave me some cuttings for free, that was very kind of him, it's the Cissus discolor and two Markaravia species, it's the Markaravia syntenesi and Markaravia ambulata. I've been searching for some more macaravias because it's uh, you know very sought after plants right now they i think they are very cool and they're always out of stock on all the websites and stuff so can you guess what frogs it is that i have got this is just a very temporary enclosure it is the phylobatus vitalis I got four unsexed uh, babies, I think they uh, left the water in April, it said, on the, on the papers, on their papers, yeah. These frogs have been on my wish list all the way since I started with dart frogs, or even before I started with dart frogs, because I knew that, well, the looks of these guys have probably been my favorite since I, you know, started thinking about even owning dart frogs. And um, yeah, their colors are so beautiful. And after having uh, these for a month, I can tell you that they are so underrated frogs, and that ha they haven't even started calling yet. Or they kind of have, but on a very low volume. But they have the the last week, where they're like a few months old. And I just want to address that this enclosure is very temporary, it's very small, I know, and I have been in it for a, m a month when I'm recording this, but next weekend 
they are moving into my giant enclosure that is so giant that it kind of makes up for it, so yeah. Here I kind of started panicking and I just decided to put on the lid and let him calm down for a few minutes before introducing the fourth one. I just want to address that these lids are not suitable for dart frogs at all because they have so much ventilation that it holds zero humidity and they aren't fruit fly proof so uh, just now I just wanted to get a lid on there but later I put uh, what's it called plastic fil film and a mesh that is fruit fly proof the mess was just like two centimeters, most of the top was covered in uh, plastic film, just to get it more dark frog suitable. And as I said, it's very small, but they will get such a large enclosure later that, yeah, I think it's fine. So I'll just give you a little picture here of how the enclosure looks right now when I'm recording this. And um, yes, yeah, so I'll see you next in the next video which is probably going to be releasing this into their enclosure. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see. So, I forgot my outro. So, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, share and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.